<laughs> Welcome to week 19. <laughs> Max reloading the Nether Blasters. We're back in Cineforge offices, awaiting yet another meeting from our gaffer. Yeah, Mr. Jason. Man, it was going so Dude, strong. It was on going that one. so well. All right, and then I just had to open my mouth for one. I had one job. Yo, it's like you're spitting bricks Jason a funnel. Sievers. Uh, Jason? You call him Jason? He said Jason. This, yeah. Now he's in terms of your hearing aid, old man. Jason is rad. An amazing gaffer that, that's on Mac show. We're very happy to have him. He's coming in for a meeting. We're going to talk about lighting scenarios and uh, just gear and, and stuff. And uh, and then we're going to have a meeting I'm with meeting Scott's uh, a therapist meeting. about keeping him on the right medicine. <laughs> Rachel's going to come in and we're going to talk about our prop weapons. Um, She's coming in with a prop weapon designer. Yeah, and we're going to give him mad props. Art. <laughs> Should we start this whole thing over? Yes. Nah, dude. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, we missed something. Uh, yeah, so last week we had the privilege uh, to divide and conquer, as we do. Uh, we took meetings at University of... Eh, we don't want to say the name. Uh, so last... <laughs> um, yeah, so last week we had a chance to sit down with one of our favorite people in the whole world, who is also one of the raddest, baddest VFX guys, in our opinion, in the whole world, Mr. D-Fuss, Dan Fusselman, and our new friend, Paul DeNigris. Uh, he's an awesome VFX guy as well. And they're gonna be joining forces. Uh, while we are joining forces yeah. on the co-directorial side, they're gonna be co-VFX supervisors. So we get two amazing VFX guys for the price of two. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, where's this going? <laughs> Yeah, so we met up, uh, we had a chance to round table the VFX process from page one all the way to the end of the script, um, and they broke down all of the, the flights of fancy that we put down on the page. They yeah. basically put their amazing brains together and said, how are we gonna get this accomplished for you guys? Uh, it was insightful, it was exciting. They have more tricks up their sleeve than I think we even expected right. to see on the screen. So really cool stuff. We'll have more on their process coming soon. Oh yeah, and then uh, we're talking to a, a, a game that's on, um VR oh, right now. Uh, I think it's right now. It's only on Rift. It might be on other platforms. So it's and an awesome game. You uh, saw this in previous. Vlogs. Yeah, we played this game, Blasters of the Universe. Blasters. Great, great game. Uh, people over there are amazing, and we're talking to them about bringing some assets from Max Reload into their game, which is so cool. Like being able to see some stuff that we created. They're modding it, right? Yeah, in in their video game, yeah. like for everyone to see. That's like. Dude. It's a pretty popular game on Steam. That's too, amazing. It's because it's it's super fun. So obviously that's down the road because we still have a lot of work to do, but we had that call the yeah. other day and that's really exciting. We did a bunch of official announcements on the old IMDBs um, involving cast. We're at the place where we're actually allowed to announce who cast yeah. members are. Yeah. And our man, Mr. Tom Plumley, who's playing Max in Max Reload, just launched an amazing Coca-Cola commercial yeah. that he stars in that's playing in theaters nationwide right now. Uh, and we're excited for him. For that so a lot of great stuff coming up yes. in this week's vlog yes is this the wrap-up or is this the intro no this is it bro bro Jeez. yeah i mean uh, since when are the vlogs three minutes long who's directing this segment <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Kick. do you mind if we're vlogging yeah, yeah, okay. okay cool Break it down like this. Cool thing was, Jesse's eyes light up. <laughs> underneath the handles, the cool part, it's got these crystals in here that you can rotate. Just take a look at this, man. So, and the crystals will change with the blade. And we have light side crystals, which is your white and your green. And you got your dark side crystal. And then on the back, I added another crystal chamber that randomly changes. We got some piping on here. There's supposed to be the power conduits for the crystal. And then these are just blinkies down here, and we got a recharge port down here. Alright, I can't see shit, just give me cues. So this week, um, lots of meetings. 
not a lot of super exciting stuff. Um, there's some cool stuff, but but basically we're just meet, meetings and, and storyboards and shot lists. And don't forget meetings to talk about last week's meetings. And some more meetings. Some more um, meetings. Pretty soon we're going to have meetings around a sweet thing that is yet to come. Probably not even before Christmas, which makes me a little sad, but... Christmas is coming. It's okay. We'll be there. Um, I heard Justin, like... Fell, he like fell asleep and then like fell off the bridge and landed on a train and then somehow ended up Magically. somewhere near the San Francisco area. Like a boxcar child, he wakes up in paradise. I know, right? Do we have any footage of that? Well, I hope so. Yo, what's up guys? So we're here in San Francisco. The view of this place is incredible, but we are basically going to be hard at work all day. So try to snatch some clips every once in a while, but you gotta check out this view. Wow, that was, that, what a, that was lame, dude. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I mean, pretty good. Looks like he shot it on an iPhone. Yeah, dude, yeah. Like, like negative first year film. Yeah, I just, Whatevs, dude. Not not awesome at all. No. I think that us sitting here having meetings was way cooler. All right. So in preparation for Max Reload, uh, a big part of this film is obviously your camera, and so I've been working on uh, basically the camera setup and what we're going to be using. And um, today I've got uh, a viewfinder. It's an electronic viewfinder. So essentially, it's an eyepiece that you can look through when you're going handheld or you want to be really connected to the camera. Um, I've been wanting a viewfinder for a long time, but finding the right viewfinder has been pretty hard. So I think I've settled on it, but this is going to require some modifications. So today I'm going to take the Blackmagic Ursa viewfinder, which is made for the Blackmagic camera, and I'm going to be modifying it with a wooden camera, this is the brand, wooden camera um, EVF modification kit, right? So I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to modify it, <clears throat> and I'm going to basically make it usable on my camera and many others. So let's do it. That Mick Cafe, boy. Mm. Can I get a sponsorship? Uh, we're in the studio in Huntington. Uh, shooting some stuff for Luke today, Luke Holland, drummer. You may have heard of him. Probably not, actually. Um, I'm here with my ladies, my beautiful women. The Vertigear chairs. <laughs> uh, we're doing a little promo spot for Vertigear. Basically, we have like, uh, I think we have almost every chair they make. So be jealous right now, because our tushies feel real good. Real good sitting on this here, Bessie. <laughs> this is one of the baller uh, trigger series chairs. I think this beauty will run you about 800 bucks or so. Got that Vertigear money. Just kidding. So we're doing a whole bunch of stuff for Vertigear, making them look cool. It's always fun. It's easy to make these chairs look cool because they literally are some of the coolest gaming chairs and most comfortable. Not just because they hook us up for real. Um, this is my jam right here, the SL4000. Mad comfort. Um, Anyways, yeah, so this is cool because Jesse Mitchell is doing the audio for Luke's drums. This is the first time Jesse's doing this, uh, so no pressure, Jesse. Everything's on fire! So yeah, Luke's coming here in a minute. Uh, Jesse's setting up audio. Uh, I've always set up. Luke's gonna come set up his stuff. We're gonna shoot some cool stuff. And, uh, and then we'll be going to see our prop master making these gangster blasters for Max Reload and the Nether Blasters. Cheers, cheers! About to drop a fat beat. Oh, mm -hmm. No, I'm not. <laughs> Looking at boy Shane up. He's doing the props for the Max Reload and the Nether Blasters. Blasters? Boom! Kawasaki green and black. What? Shane's gonna love this. Mister, brought you a gift. I decide if we want to add any more detail to it. Okay. But yeah. at least it will be done. But cool. this is what the we batteries have in there or so how's... far. Yeah, the battery's already in the handle. Badass. So it's CR123. Nice. It's already charged, so nice. it should last for a while. Nice. But if you want to go in, we'll go to the solder station okay. and we'll solder that on and wrap it up. Okay, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. All right. So that's our LED. You got our lens right here. Badass. And that's our slide on there. And then to finish it off. Oh my god. 
It had such a satisfying sound to it too. So. Uh, now we wow. did. So. No way. There you go. Wow. That's cool. I, I just really cool. Super cool, so, yeah. 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 So that was uh, Shane from Dark Side Engineering. That guy is a freaking master at his craft. Um, he's working on the prop guns that the heroes are going to use in the movie. Um, wow. Like, I'm blown away. We didn't really know what to expect. You know, obviously we heard some good things and it's like, cool, let's have him down in the office, check it out. Obviously the guy does incredible uh, prop replica lightsabers for like Star Wars stuff, amongst a lot of other things. And he's got a lot of crazy cool stories. He seems like a really interesting and fun guy. Uh, but he is making these insane props. I mean, they're all, they have batteries inside of them where you pull the trigger, it uses the original circuitry and he's putting LEDs in the barrel so that it lights up. So uh, that's gonna enhance our visual effects. I'm blown away. The guy is just incredible. So if you like lightsabers and all that cool stuff, definitely check out Dark Side Engineering. That's just amazing. Anyways, uh, I think this concludes this week's vlog. I don't even know, is it like the 20th week or something like that? 19th, 19th week. We're getting close. But um, Christmas is coming up. Very excited about that. Um, hope you guys are too. We'll see you next week.